Russia is pre-positioning troops and attack aircraft along Ukraine's eastern borders, according to Western officials, in preparation for a large offensive aimed at the Kharkiv region in the northeast and Zaporizhia in the southeast. Experts and officials agree that there is a lot of activity on the border, as well as a lot of preparations, with Russian air forces deploying helicopter gunships and fighter jets. Also, Russian cruise missiles and drones have shifted their focus to civilian targets. While advanced artillery systems such as HIMARS and M777 were sent to strengthen Ukraine's land forces, other Western weapon systems were sent to improve the country's air defense umbrella. Let's check some of them. This is the Combat Tech, and today we are taking a look at how the West fortifies Ukraine's air defenses. Ukraine received its first national advanced surface-to-air missile systems in late 2022, providing the country with a long-awaited capability as Russian missiles and Iranian-made drones attack its infrastructure. The NASAMS is a modular system consisting of three main components. A radar for detecting incoming aircraft missiles or drones, a missile launcher for firing on them, and a command and control center. This weapon is classified as a medium-range air defense system, capable of hitting targets at greater distances than weapons like the shoulder-fired Stinger missile, but with less range than larger and more expensive systems like the Patriot missile system. NASAMS was the first surface-launched AIM-120 AMRAM application, Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. NASAMS-2 is an improved version of the system which has been in operation since 2007. NASAMS-3 adds the ability to fire AIM-9 Sidewinder and Iris-T SLS short-range missiles 60 miles or 25 kilometers and AMRAM ER Extended Range Missiles 31 miles or 50 kilometers as well as mobile airliftable launchers. NASAMS has demonstrated interoperability with longer-range systems like Patriot. NASAMS had a 100% success rate during the Russian missile strikes on November 15, 2022, according to the Pentagon and Ukrainian President Zelensky reveal that the system shot down 10 of the 10 targeted missiles. To combat Russian aircraft and drones, in November 2022, the U.S. announced the shipment of four AN and TWQ-1 Avenger air defense systems. On January 20, 2023, eight additional systems were included in the military aid package. The AN-TWQ-1 Avenger, also referred to as the M1097, is the U.S. Army's primary mobile air defense weapon. It is a surface-to-air missile fire unit that is lightweight, highly mobile, and easily transportable, with two missile pods each containing eight Stinger missiles. In addition, the Avenger carries a 50 caliber 12.7mm FN M3P machine gun. The Avenger system can acquire, identify, track, and engage targets at distances of up to 3.4 miles or 5.5 kilometers, with altitudes of less than 12,500 feet or 3,800 meters, and can operate in extreme weather conditions since it's mounted on a high mobility, multi purpose wheeled vehicle. Offboard sensors, such as the AN and MPQ-64 Sentinel radar, which has already been transferred to Ukraine, can be used to cue the AN and TWQ-1 through a centralized fire direction center. In April 2017, an Avenger fired stingers at two UAVs in a test, marking the missile's first interception of a UAV target. The line item RIM-7 Missiles for Defense in the Department of Defense's $3 billion aid package announced in early January surprised many people. Until now, the RIM-7 has seen little use in ground-based applications. What is more interesting is that these missiles are planned to be launched from a Soviet-era missile platform. Raytheon's RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is a direct development of the AIM-7E Sparrow air-to-air -air missile, which was developed in the early 1950s as a semi-active radar homing missile system. Sea Sparrow can reach an impressive maximum speed of 2,645 miles per hour, or 4,256 kilometers an hour. It has an operational range of 10 nautical miles, or 19 kilometers. The missile is equipped with a semi-active radar homing guidance system, which allows it to track and engage targets accurately. Its warhead is an annular blast fragmentation type, and it employs a proximity fuse and an expanding raw detonation mechanism with a kill radius of 27 feet or 8.2 meters. These missiles are planned to be launched from Soviet-era 9K-37BUK, NATO designation SA-11 systems. In terms of homing technology, it is similar to the Sparrow. This similarity let the Ukrainian engineers figure out how to launch Sea Sparrow from book command centers, using the system's 9E420 radar to guide them to their targets. 
The RIM-7 should continue to provide a very useful, localized capability against many of the threats that Ukraine is currently facing. The Pentagon recently announced that it would expedite the delivery of Patriot missiles to Ukraine. The U.S. military previously stated that training for the use of MIM-104 Patriot systems takes six months to a year. But it appears that the Pentagon has developed a shortened training program specifically for Ukrainians. The MIM-104 Patriot, or Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target, Air Defense Complex entered service with the United States Army in the early 1980s. The Patriot employs advanced interceptor missiles and highly effective radar systems. Its average effective range is 93 miles, or 150 kilometers. The most recent modification, known as POC-3, is designed to engage and intercept targets at altitudes of up to 15 miles, or 24 kilometers. It also has the ability to shoot down ballistic missiles such as Iskanders, which Russia uses to attack Ukraine, as well as hypersonic air-launched missiles like Russian-made Kinzels and Russian hypersonic anti-ship missile Zircon. But Ukraine, most likely, will receive a less advanced version of MIM-104C, POC-2, or MIM-104D, POC-2 and GEM, 